Well, David Beckham, despite his success in various fields, including football, modelling and charity work, remains Mr. David Beckham. Over the weekend, reports emerged of what were said to be emails he had written. According to the leaks, in 2013, he wrote emails expressing frustration at missing out on a knighthood. A PR company representing the footballer says he was subject to a blackmail attempt by hackers threatening to leak Mr. Beckham's personal emails. In a statement, they added, this story is based on outdated material taken out of context from hacked and doctored private emails from a third-party server and gives a deliberately inaccurate picture. Well, Mark Llewellyn Slade runs a company called Awards Intelligence, which is actually dedicated to helping people win awards and receive personal honours. And he's in Brighton, which is in the south of England, and joins us now. Mark, until today, I wasn't even aware that there was such a demand out there to require services of a company like yours. It's extraordinary that that is the situation we're in now. But I wonder what you make of uh, David Beckham in this story. Well, if it's all true, I think he's been a bit of a silly billy, to be honest. Whatever your views are of the Cabinet Office or the Royal Family, you, you don't put it in writing, especially if you're a celebrity and you're in the public eye. But, of course, the honour system's open to all sorts of people, uh, from uh, people doing great community and charity work, selfless giving people, that is, um, to leaders in their field. So eminent doctors, lawyers, entrepreneurs, business leaders, I describe them as perhaps uh, extraordinary, ordinary people. It's not just about the celebrities. So, Mark, if someone comes to you and they're looking to nominate someone who they think deserves a knighthood, how does the whole process work? Well, you've got to be in it to win it, most importantly, and people can't put themselves forward for an honour. So they rely on their friends, family and business contacts to do that for them. And sometimes apathy sets in and people think, oh, I ought to nominate my brother or colleague, but never quite get round to it. So they should take action, download the nomination form from the Government Queen's Honour website and crack on. And of course, the honour system is open to non-UK residents um, and non-UK citizens. So it really is um, a, a global award. Why do you think Mr Beckham wants an award like this, Mark? What would it mean to people, to some people or to him? Well, a, a, an honour to most people is, is uh, a significant achievement and, and is priceless. It will raise his profile even further, enhance his reputation and, of course, instill that vital ingredient for success in all walks of life, and that's trust. Whether we like it or not, people with knighthoods um, tend to be trusted, respected and looked up to. And also, when you're a celebrity with the kind of money people like Beckham have, you start to want things other than uh, financial benefits. You want the things money can't buy. And uh, the prestige of having an honour is something that people uh, all over the world aspire to. And he's no different to anybody else in that respect. Mark, great to have your thoughts. Thanks so much for joining us today here on GMT.